Today I'm talking about the Open Owl folding penny knife. It's got this unique kind of locking collar on it where you slide the little collar across to lock and unlock the blade. And what's cool about it is when after you close it, you can slide it across again and lock it while it's closed. Now this is going to work two times over because I'm going to describe this and uh, give my opinion on the knife and then also on my AccuSharp sharp. Um, out of the box it's not very sharp um, I had to dress up a lot of the length of the blade it, uh, it actually was kind of rounded over in some places and it wasn't very it wasn't very true now it's I've gotten it to the point where it's pretty I mean, it's got a pretty decent edge on it now. I mean, this is heavy backer paper. It's not actual like, notebook paper. I had a little notebook up here, I thought. Apparently, it got lost in transit. So, but what I'm going to do with this is curb my soul a little bit. Now, this is pretty sharp. I don't know if... taking some of the hair off but it's not like I, I would like it normally but uh, what I'm going to do is make it dull again which I don't really like doing but it holds that edge pretty well and it puts pretty deep nick in the players, I'm going to have to sand the players down next. Okay, now it's, now it's to the point where I don't even think I'll cut this. It's not even biting, I mean, I mean, it'll work like an edge really well, but it's not nearly as clean of a cut as it was. So, bottom line, it's not very, it's not, it's hardly sharp at all. Now, with the blade profile, it's a, I believe it's a, it's a Scandi grind where it goes all the way from the spine all the way to the edges, all the same grind. I didn't like that put, so I used the Hecu Sharp to put a new edge on it. Now, I know a lot of people, and I used to be one of them, don't like the Hecu Sharp or this style sharpener because it, it's not a stone. Uh, and I don't a lot of people are true to the stone and that's great this weighs probably six ounces seven ounces at the most maybe eight if I'm really off but uh, it's really light it can go in your pocket and it doesn't take any time I'm using what I just did to this, and for an example, I mean, I mean, you can see right, right along here, the, the actual nicks that I put in this pair of pliers. So this is, this has been a damaged edge. I mean, it's, I don't think, there's very little this will cut butter maybe but now with this guy Now I had nicks in this blade, I had chips in this blade. With a few strokes it's right, it's almost back to where it was. Now I've got some fine tuning work to do to this because uh, to, to, to illustrate the effectiveness of this sharpener, I, I beat the air living hell out of this blade. 
I've had this sharpener for over four years, going on almost five years now, and I've never replaced the little carbide tips in it. Um, I guess you can. I mean, it's you can definitely, like, if they get wore out, you can take these three screws out, flip them around, right back to go. I mean, it's, 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 it's really, it's a really nice sharpener. And like I said, when you are talking about chips and dings in your blade, I mean, this, this is a sharpener you want to have in your bag, because God forbid you have to use your knife to dig or something like that, or you're batoning a piece of wood and some hunter has you know, put a nail in it or some farmer, it was a piece of a fence post or something, and you hit something hard and it puts a ding in your knife. I've dropped knives and it's it's put, you know, it's hit a stone or something real hard just right and put a chip in it. And this will take it out. Yeah, you have to work at it, but it'll eventually work that, that, that blade flush again. So, once again, this is the Apanel knife. Um, it's folding. I think it's called a penny knife. I'm pretty sure it's called a penny knife. But I could be wrong. If I am wrong, by all means, correct me. Um, <laughs> let me rephrase that. Correct me with source material so I can look it up. Don't just say, oh, no, you're wrong. That's a, that's a canooter knife. I'm not going to take that as a legitimate source. And then the AccuSharp sharpener, 10 bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. It sure blows a, a Japanese wet stone, water stone right out of the water. Because it's maybe... I don't have anything to use as a unit of measurement around here, I don't think. Oh, yes, I do. Fumble. Got the handy dandy tackle box. And I could have swore this had a unit had a measuring stick out somewhere, but it could be, yeah, I am very, very wrong, not the first one, but the last, I swear I have a tape on here somewhere, so. any rate, it's not very large, it's, I mean, Still looking to try and see some. Okay. Nine inch tent spike. So it's probably it's probably five or six inches. Probably closer to six inches, maybe. Needless to say, it's not very big. It fits in the back pocket just fine. It's super lightweight. And it's it's really comfortable to hold in your hand. I mean, you can see I've used the ever-living bejesus out of this thing. It's whenever I go out in the woods or go fishing or anything, I just drop this in my pack with me when I go. I've got a sharpening rod, but to be honest with you, this works ten times faster than that rod does. Um, yeah, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to bring down any of my other. Uh, bring, excuse me. Bring up my any of my other knives because. Either they have sentimental value, or I just can't bring myself to, to damage a, a, a high-quality knife like that. But, I mean, it's it recovered its edge very well. I mean, like I said, I'm going to have to do a little bit of fine-tuning on it, because I, like I like to keep not my knives extremely sharp, because I find that I cut myself less often with a sharp knife than I do with a knife that I really have to work to use. So, with that being said... I know there's somebody out there wanting to see if it can curl wood. So I grab a pencil. Uh, I can't, won't make any curls, but... It's taking the paint out the pencil without any kind of... I'm 
I'm just using these three fingers with it. It's leaving chains everywhere. So. Well, guys, I'm Dustin. This is Get Some Dirt Time. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe.